l'Italia che cambia siamo noi. I am honored to be the director of this organization. Every day come to this office in this unique location, a little park, a forest, a very, some of these buildings are medieval, a unique place to try and fight for a better life for some, for some people across the world. The Good Planet Foundation is an organization that does awareness raising, education, and concrete projects on the environment. And it does so in priority for populations that are most in need. So it is a foundation that tries to join two different uh, values, which are humanism and ecology and environment at the same time. So, Yann Arthus Bertrand. Uh, founded and uh, presides the Good Planet Foundation. He created in 2005 to help improve people's lives at the same time as preserving the environment. And so all of our projects are geared towards that mission. What is unique about the Good Planet Foundation is that its headquarters, the Domaine de Longchamp, are now a center uh, open to the general public for free to come and learn about environment, to come and learn about sustainable agriculture and permaculture, agroecology, to learn about sustainable food consumption, to learn about climate, to learn about energy. And that is why this location, it's a 3.5 hectare park with a small castle with gardens that, are, uh, that produce fruits and vegetables and herbs, uh, all in permaculture and obviously natural uh, small-scale agriculture, um, gardens, uh, photo exhibitions, um, and uh, lots of different ways of uh, engaging the general public uh, in these on these issues and so we have we welcome students and we welcome youth uh, every week uh, we welcome over a thousand people every weekend for different activities and different events every weekend we have an event that is geared towards some theme on either environment and humanism The foundation is evolving very fast because of the opening of the Domaine de Longchamp to the general public, which is a whole new project in itself. It is evolving very fast because we have also signed some very interesting agreements and projects with large companies um, that change the lives of people across the world. Some of the examples of these projects um, are one of a, a project in India where we are installing reservoirs for biogas um, for 45,000 uh, Indians, 9,000 families in rural India, we are allowing them to use renewable energy to heat uh, their water and that is going to allow these families that live in, in difficult conditions to not have to go and get uh, wood as a source of energy, um, also to allow them to not use kerosene or to not use uh, natural gas um, as, as fuel for these activities and for uh, uh, their, their daily lives. We have a program here where we welcome uh, over a thousand kids that uh, don't have the opportunity to go on vacation during the summer because of financial and other reasons and they come here and spend weeks with us learning about environment and more humanism issues uh, we feed them and take uh, into um, take them into our program which is called Good Planet Junior. We have 40 projects since uh, 2005, 2007, more than 20 countries and that has an impact on over 120,000 people across the world. For me, change means waking up every morning and trying to remind myself that I can do things in a very respectful way of nature and of other human beings. And if I'm not 
doing those two things at least a little bit every day, I feel like I'm wasting my time. I can take the time to think about how am I going to consume products that have, so I produce less waste, so I keep going towards zero waste, so that I keep going towards uh, more healthy products um, for me and for the people that worked producing them. Um, you can take that time and it's not, you just have to decide that that's part of your life is thinking about how do I leave the most positive trace behind me and that's, that's a change that is constant. That change is perhaps a little bit, uh, is a state of mind that I think we get away from because of the daily constraints and the daily urgency and everything. Um, so I try and remind myself of that every day. Questa Italia che cambia, non puoi fermarla ormai. Questa Italia che cambia, siamo 